Welcome back and happy Friday everyone. As you all know, we are experts on starting many jobs and not finish many of them. <laughs> but one day they will all be finished. We just try to keep it interesting for you guys so you don't get bored. Anyway, one of those jobs that we started a while ago and we will hopefully be finishing in the next couple of days is the solar arch. As you saw in previous episodes, we started doing some welding, well, some tacking with Matthias. And because Matthias is going to be taking all his welding equipment back to Germany, it's now or never. So we have to interrupt the work inside and get outside and do some welding. So we're pretty excited because it's a project that we've been thinking about for a long time and it'll be good to see the end of it and see how it looks. So we're just setting up now. We've got all our stainless out. We managed to get the holes done on the plates. A friend from the yard has got a bench drill, so it was pretty easy and quick. So he's very excited that Matthias is letting him use the machine. <laughs> uh, I, don't know, I think nervous is the word. <laughs> uh, 18, I need a bit more. It's just a saw. You know, the easier way is, yeah, you block it, you leave this open, and it sits in, and now you measure, and you press it down with these fingers here, because then you have the height. So you go a bit more up, mm -hmm. yeah, now close it. 26, a little bit. You need 28, though? Uh, 27. Yep, that's good. But this is okay. a really good teacher. This is really cool. We found a website where you can just put the information of the tubes that you want to weld together and it gives you a template so you know where the notch goes and how big and everything you see parent tube 25 mil the cut tube 25 mil the thickness and the angle you want so now I'm gonna cut a little template and then we know how to cut the pipes Reminds me of when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, how's that? Well, you used to do like um, DIY stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm going up, I'm going up. That's good. It's come the time to drill some holes. These ones are quite easy to access through this speaker hole, even though it's a bit pointy in there with some fiber, <laughs> fiber glass. Mm. But this one, have to use the, uh... there is no access, so I'm gonna go inside and see if there is any possibility. This is the cockpit locker, and there is no access through here. 
No. No possible. Bit more, bit more forward, bit more forward. Is it okay from the level? Yeah. Okay. A little bit out on the one side. You can push it a bit? No. It's locked there. Huh? Yeah, no, it's because of that little gap, but as you say, it's going to come back in once you... Uh... Okay. Yeah, here we go. How does it look like? Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad? Not too bad. The bubble's just touching the line. Okay, right. Still. No? Yeah, it's better. Better? Yeah, that's good. The other side as well. Sweet. Good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. There is a competition here. They say friends who notch together. Stay together. <laughs> nice. And that is it. It's all tab now. We just need to do the little thingies for the solar panel to be screwed on. But pretty much, that's it done. I think it looks really sexy. Yeah, I'm, I'm 
I'll show you all the angles. Oh yeah. Moment of truth. Well, well, we well. Well, it fits. Does it? Yeah. You win? Yeah. And we make them fit to these, basically, huh? Okay. Well, she's almost pretty tight in, isn't she? Yeah, that's perfect, I would say. There is a bit of space in between. It's amazing. You measure a few times and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Just put it up and we... We were gonna do the taps for the solar panels here on the floor. But once we put it on the floor and we put the solar panels in place, we realized that it's now a little bit twisted. So we're gonna... Well, Matthias is going to <laughs> weld it first. And once it's all welded and solid, we'll put it back on the boat. And then on the boat, we'll put the solar panels and the taps. Because right now is a little bit twisted. Just because we have to, to pull it a little bit to tuck it on the bases. So now we're going to try to build like a platform with maybe a big pallet, a few pallets. So we're going to screw it on something so as it's welded, it doesn't twist anymore or get any funny shapes. So Matthias is getting the trailer ready. We're going to take it to the hangar so it can weld in peace, quiet and with no wind. Cheers for the pallet. Alright, we're good. And away we go! <laughs> There's a boat coming in. And here is where the magic is going to happen. And this is another arch that Matthias has been doing. A bit more sophisticated. Pretty cool. This was a tack with, um, with the air, yeah. you know, with the wind. Mm -hmm. The oxygen inside is burning the material away. I'm just having a look at what Matthias is doing because I really want to learn to weld now and it's pretty cool to see it. Stu, why are you covering your eyes? <laughs> it really is mesmerizing <laughs> watching someone welding. Matthias is full of light. <laughs> The star of the show. <laughs> and look at this other one. They welded all these plates together, so this goes on the tow rail. It's pretty amazing what you can do when you know how to weld. You're trying to cool it down. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be polishing and grinding for a few days now. Uh. <laughs> I feel we're pretty lucky that we get to watch an expert. 
you can't really see. There's a seagull up there somewhere. And through the plastic, you just see his, uh, his little, little web feet. Oh, there he goes. Up, 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 up. Oh, he's a menace. Oh, he got? I don't know how much you'll be able to see, yeah, but he's done. Yeah. Really, we had to come back one step to go forward a few. <laughs> hey, that's a good project. Smashed it in a day. Yeah. Apart from the polishing. <laughs> and the grinding. Yeah. It's not even dark outside. Yeah, thank you very much, Matthias, and uh, thank you for letting us watch because it was really, yeah, really cool. You're welcome, my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> so if it's a bit noisy, this is the hangar. So today we're going to try and get rid of some of these welds, clean it up, polish it up a bit. We still have the pieces to add around for the to actually mount the solar panels the little tabs. Some are going to be harder than others, some are going to be fun and some aren't. Your friend just came round to give us his tube polisher. So let's give this a go. It's a lot heavier. Ugh. Look, you've got an assistant. <laughs> okay. Nice. Is that it? That's it. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Matthias. <laughs> You're welcome. Can't believe it's finally finished. Mm -hmm. Well, just the polishing. Yeah. Now is your time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> And this little, maybe this guy helps with the polishing. Look, he's going straight to the weld.
Here there was a weld joining two pipes and we are working on it. The elbows have almost disappeared. These elbows as well. Still need work but slowly getting there. Probably got about two maybe three days of polishing sanding and polishing and then we can more or less say this is done drill a few holes etc etc yay <laughs> yeah we need to still drill the holes here yeah so what do you think guys do you like the solar arch what do you think about the design simple too flimsy i don't know <laughs> i think it's pretty good found this piece of metal in, uh, in the bin. Which one you found in the bin? This one. This one? Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's a shame because we're not going to be able to show the finished result on this, this week's video. But yeah, you get the idea. It's nearly there. So, well, we'll probably put it on once it's finished, right, Stu? Yeah, we'll just have to take it off again when we put the engine on, but the uh, engine in. But it's not a big deal. Yeah, because we don't really know when the engine is going in yet. Uh, soon. I reckon we should just aim for a fiber glassing and getting it in. Yeah, as soon as possible. At some point over the summer. But because we don't know yet, I would rather just put it on and then at least, I don't know, it's on, it's safe, it's yeah, in its place. It. And it will give us some shade for the first <laughs> month or two of the summer. <laughs> yeah. We should probably get some batteries in. Uh, yeah, we may need to buy some batteries. We only have one and I think it's probably... I think if we got another battery, we should actually be... Apart from the Hoover, we should be fairly self-sufficient. Before we go... We wanted to show you this cool thing. We need two vents and two of these little locker things. It's pretty handy to keep your sweets in. Maybe I'll... <laughs> well, we could have put anything in there, but I still found these on the internet and they're pretty neat. Yeah, I don't know. Are they a bit plasticky? I'd sooner have nice teak rimmed. Oh, yeah, but... You know, but uh, you... That's, That's a scary. job for later. These will... Uh... No, I think these will be definite tips to it. <laughs> oh yeah, these will do for many a year. But when they break, we'll figure oh, it out. Oh, they won't break. Everything breaks. No. But thank you so much, Alan. We had two of them on our wish list. And we just received this one from Alan. And the other one's just been bought as well from one of our patrons, but we haven't received it yet. I was thinking about putting them at the front, but in a way it makes more sense than being at the back. Yeah, because this is where we'll be sitting, yeah. and that's where we can keep our treasures. Sweets. Yeah. Sweets. And then... Obshade Art. Our lucky mascot. So those vents that were there to cover some speakers will be moving forward. Yeah, and yeah it was weird. There was one there and one there. Oh. Yeah. But that, I might... it was a, they were in diagonal. Yeah. So obviously for the as you saw for the installation of the arch we had to make holes. So they'll be covered with that now. Quite a dramatic sky. Do I have a mosquito bite on my forehead? Yeah, big one. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, he really itchy. Yeah, I'd stop itching it. It's just going to get bad. You're just going to have to leave it. Do not want to get the zapper and zap your head? We've been working downstairs and uh, it's no wind. And it, there was a little bit of rain yesterday, so it was like crazy. It, was, it really is really itchy. Yeah. Can I see it on the camera? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's pretty big because you keep scratching it. Leave oh. it. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this week's um, adventure and I think it's probably going to be a short one because it was just all about the solar art but I hope you enjoyed it. We really enjoy working on this and it's been a long time in our minds and a lot of planning so it's pretty cool that we managed to finish, well almost finish this project. So let us know what you think and as every week we would like to say thank you Thank you to everyone who watches, thank you to all the likes, all the comments and to everyone who is supporting these projects, like people sending us these bits for the boat that we just showed you and donations through coffee and PayPal and to all our patrons. The family is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, so thank you very much to all of you and hopefully see you next Friday. Bye bye! Cheers, old fortune. See you later. You're very cheery. Yeah, goodbye.